Project Title, Generating PWM Signals with TMS320F28335 Microcontroller. Description. In this video, we will dive into the process of generating PWM signals using the TMS320F28335 microcontroller. PWM signals are widely employed in applications such as motor control, power electronics, and LED dimming. By understanding how to generate PWM signals with precise frequency and duty cycle control, you can unlock advanced control and modulation capabilities for your projects. Keywords 1. PWM signals 2. TMS320F28335 Microcontroller 3. Duty Cycle Control For Motor Control 5. LED Dimming Introduction to PWM Signals PWM control involves varying the duty cycle of a square wave signal to regulate the average power delivered to a load. By adjusting the on and off time of the signal, the effective voltage supplied to the load can be controlled. This technique finds its significance in motor speed control, LED dimming, and power converters. Overview of TMS320F28335 Microcontroller The TMS320F28335 microcontroller comes equipped with the necessary hardware components and connections for generating PWM signals. To begin generating PWM signals, you need to configure the PWM control registers and the GPIO, General Purpose Input Output, pins. Configuring GPIO pins. To utilize GPIO pins as PWM pins on the TMS320F28335 microcontroller, follow these steps. 1. Configure GPIO underscore 0 as a PWM pin. Set PIOcontrol regs dot paymux 1 dot bit dot GPIO 0 to 0 x 1, selecting the PWM functionality for GPIO underscore 0 pin. Set PIOcontrol regs dot pater dot bit dot GPIO 0 to 1, configuring GPIO underscore 0 pin as an output. 2. Configure GPIO underscore 1 as a PWM pin. Set PIOcontrol regs dot paymux 1 dot bit dot GPIO 1 to 0 x 1, Selecting the PWM functionality for GPIO underscore 1 pin. Set PIO control regs dot pater dot bit dot GPIO 1 to 1, configuring GPIO underscore 1 pin as an output. PWM module configuration. The TMS320F28335 microcontroller includes multiple PWM modules, each with its set of control registers. To generate a PWM signal, configure the following registers. Period register, PRD. The period register, PRD, determines the period of the PWM signal and sets the frequency of the PWM output. To calculate the value for EPWM1 regs.tbprd to achieve a specific PWM frequency, use the following formula. TBPRD equals TBCLK slash 2 asterisk PWM frequency. For instance, to achieve a PWM frequency of 15 kHz with a PWM clock frequency of 150 MHz, set EPWM1 regs.tbprd to 5000. Duty cycle. After configuring the PWM control registers and GPIO pins, you can set the duty cycle of the PWM signal. This is typically done by updating the compare value in the CMPA register. The compare value determines when the PWM output switches state. To set a duty cycle of 50% with a period of 5000, calculate the compare value as follows. Duty cycle equals, compare value slash period, asterisk 100. 50% equals, compare value slash 5000, asterisk 100. Compare value equals, 50 slash 100, asterisk 5000 is equal to 2500. Setting EPWM1 regs.cmpa.half.cmpa to 2500 will result in a 50% duty cycle for the PWM signal. Counting mode. The count up down feature in a PWM module determines the direction of the counter used to generate the PWM signal. It can either count up from 0 to the period value, TBPRD, or count down from the period value to 0, subsequently repeating. To enable the count up down functionality, Access the control register for the desired PWM module, example epwm one regstbctl Locate the bit responsible for controlling the counting mode or count up down feature, typically named CUR mode. Set this bit to the appropriate value to enable the count up down functionality. Here is the small example for counting mode. Action qualifier control. 
The Action Qualifier Control Register, AQCTL, within a PWM module is used to configure actions taken on the PWM outputs, based on compare events. It enables the definition of specific actions for scenarios such as counter-incrementing or decrementing, or when certain conditions are met. On the TMS320F28335 microcontroller, the AQCTL register consists of two primary bit fields, ZRO, action on zero, and PRD, action on period. Setting the value of ZRO to 0x2 represents the action clear, causing the PWM output A, EPWM1A pin, to be cleared when the counter reaches 0. Likewise, setting the value of PRD to 0x1 represents the action set, resulting in the PWM output A, EPWM1A pin, being set when the counter reaches the period value. Here is the small example for action qualifier. Code implementation. To implement the above configuration, utilize the following code. By following these steps and utilizing the provided code, you can effectively generate PWM signals with precise frequency and duty cycle control using the TMS320F28335 microcontroller. This opens up possibilities for advanced control and modulation in various applications, enhancing the functionality and efficiency of your projects. Thank you for watching, and remember to visit nevihub.com for more innovative projects and technology related content. Stay secure and see you next time.